If you live at sea level, there is actually a surprising amount of air above you. It's a hundred kilometers or so of air, and all of this air presses down on you and creates quite a bit of pressure. At sea level, we call that one atmosphere. That is about a hundred kilopascals. In non-nerd speak, it means that for every centimeter, every square centimeter of your body, there's about a kilogram of force that is acting on it. That's quite a bit, and to demonstrate that, we're gonna use a ping pong ball and some relatively simple equipment. So what we have here is basically a meter long tube of acrylic, and we also have these aluminum burst discs that you screw on to the end of this, right? Then you pull out as much of the air out as possible with the vacuum pump, getting pretty close to a really nice vacuum. And then uh, you basically make a small dent in that burst disc. And when you know you make that tiny leak, all of this air rushes in really, really, really fast and pushes the ping pong ball that's inside. Hopefully it's something close to the speed of sound. And we're trying to measure the speed of this ping pong ball with these two photo gates. Basically, there's a little bit of infrared light that is going between a transmitter or receiver. And so when something crosses that beam, that red light flashes, that sends a signal to the oscilloscope. And knowing the distance between these two gates, we can figure out the velocity of this ping pong ball, which I think is really cool. We'll pump this down for about 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Man, that's we ridiculous. Didn't, we didn't get a second trigger. Oh. So, photo gate one triggered, photo gate two did not trigger. So what does that look like? But, we can still use this data. The distance between? If we assume that this pulse is how long the ping pong ball blocked the photo gate sensor for. So what you're telling me is that this ping pong ball blocked you know, Sorry. the light from this photosensor, so this tiny, tiny distance, right, for 104 microseconds. microseconds. Yeah, about one, no, one one hundred thousandth of a second. No, one ten thousandth of a one second. One ten thousandth of a second. Mm. It's kind of insane to me. So without the nerd talk, it was going fast. Without the nerd talk, it was going fast. It's at 365 meters a second. We have to go faster. All right, I think I might leave one ear off. I'm going to try to record the volume, like turn down the gain on the microphone to zero, basically. Okay. When we're ready. All right. All right. Ready. Three, two, one. Jesus Christ. Guys, whoa. Dude. It went through. <laughs> the ball's okay. The blanket. Wow. Well, the first layer of the blanket is not okay. Okay. And we didn't get the second photo gate, but, but you can already peak. see the peak is almost half. So do you think this is so that was close to Mach 2? Right. So this 40 millimeter ping pong ball blocked a tiny little piece of light, this beam of infrared light. For how many? So for 61 microseconds. So that is 61 10 times 10 to the minus, 10 six. To the minus 6. Yeah, so 61 millionths of a second. 61 millionths of a, a second. second. <laughs> 655, which is approximately meters per second. Mac 2 ish. All right, so for this final test, we have the really nice ping pong ball again, the white one. We have adjusted the height of that second gate, so uh, hopefully it'll trigger this time. And we've placed a box between the nozzle and, you know, that carpet that's hopefully going to block it again. Ready? Ready? Ready.
Oh my god. No way. Oh Jesus Christ. That went through the box on one side, through the other side, hit the back, knocked the foam behind it. <laughs> Did it make another hole in here? No way. No, I hope not. No, there. Like, man, that hit with enough force to that's, really dimple that. That's kind of insane. Do we have Do we have the second? We didn't get anything that we time. We didn't get anything that time. Uh, the thing that we really want to show you with this demonstration is, uh, it, for, for me, it's just kind of ridiculous that we can get a ping pong ball to go at least supersonic with just the air pressure. Just the difference between air pressure and a vacuum. Right, and how quickly that air rushes into that tube is genuinely kind of terrifying. Uh, but yeah, this has been really cool. Hey everyone, it's currently Peter that's editing the video, uh, and there's a couple of things I wish we made a little bit clearer. Even though we couldn't get the second gate to trigger, we're still pretty confident in the fact that the ball went um, supersonic, or at least very, very fast. Just because of the, you know, the, the, the results we got from measuring the amount of time the light was being blocked by the bowl. And also, that sound is very Sonic Boom-like. But yeah, at the very, very least, it went ridiculously fast. So that's really exciting. Another thing that I want to kind of address is that we're filming this with a couple of cameras, and the fastest one that we have is the RX-10, which goes to a thousand frames a second. And that sounds really fast, but for stuff like this, it's just not fast enough. So I can't wait until I'm done with my PhD and I have enough money to be able to, you know, rent a Phantom for a couple of days and do more of this kind of stuff because I just love things that move really fast. So I guess I have to love slow motion cameras. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, there might hopefully be yeah, I can't promise that there's going to be more stuff in the near future. I am very much focusing on my PhD, but I think there's going to be one or two more videos that are going to come out this month. So that's really exciting. Peace. Thank you.